The Tigers of Missouri will handle the football game first. The University of Miami, a rather prohibitive favorite in this football game this evening. But I'll tell you something. So were they over Wisconsin last week, and they're going to have to play better this week than they did against Wisconsin. Back to receive for the University of Missouri. Paul Bland and Craig Lammer. Kick is in the air, and it goes through the end zone. John Stallenwerk at quarterback, a junior from Dallas, Texas. He's six feet, 200 pounds. Working from the wishbone on the first play from scrimmage. He is back to pass, still has the football, throws it downfield incomplete. And at quarterback, John Stallenwerk, the left halfback is Michael Jones, the fullback, Tommy Stowers. Watch number 32, Smiley Elmore. Split end, Craig Lammers, and the tight end, Tim Bruton. At left tackle, Rick Trumbull. At left guard, Carl Bax. Center Curtis Wilson on the right side of the offensive line. You saw uh, David Washington and uh, Jay Greenwood, the starters. This time it is number 31, Tommy Stowers, the fullback, carrying. Willis Pegues, Russell Maryland, Greg Mark, and Bill Hawkins on the with line. The linebackers, Randy Shannon, Bernard Clark, and Rod Carter with... Donald Ellis, Bobby Harden, Bubba McDowell, and Kenny Berry in the defensive secondary. Second down and eight at the 22, just underway. Donald work back to pass again. The southpaw throws it downfield. He has Lammers. It is trapped incomplete. That is incomplete. He got a lot out of the kicking game. They can change that all right now. Bad snap and a bad kick. Spencer takes it at his own 48. And he'll try to get across the 50 and just does maybe a foot into Missouri territory. Well, that's the way the field goes. No, field goes north-south. On the play, first play from scrimmage, Walsh to pass. And it is complete out to the right side to Leonard Conley for having bumbled a ball on a hard hit last week against Wisconsin. This time, the handoff is to Conley, and the little back gets not much. Walsh has Conley and Cleveland Gary in the backfield. Dale Hawkins and Randall Hill are the wideouts, and Rob Chudzinski starting at tight end. Darren Bruce and Mike Sullivan on the left side. Bobby Garcia at center. Barry Panfil and John O'Neill on the right side of the offensive line. They split out, sending Dawkins wide to the left side. Darrell Brown also in on a wing. Back to pass, Walsh, plenty of time, throws over the middle. He has uh, Cleveland Gary. Gary just dragging tacklers, goes inside the 25. Cleveland Gary finally stopped by Adrian Jones. We'll look at the Tigers' defense with Lee Johnson, Meredith Jones, Darrell Darling, and Steve Vandergriff, the set man up front. The linebackers, Mike Logan and Darren McDonald with A.J. Miller. And in the defensive secondary, Pat Ray, Sharon Washington, Harry Colon, and Adrian Jones. First and 10 inside the 25, the ball at the 23-yard line. Walsh looking to the end zone, throwing incomplete intended for Cleveland Gary. Well, later on in the ball game. Adrian Jones, we told you, an area man from Hollywood uh, Hills High School right here in Hollywood, Florida. Walsh this time fakes to, or gives to Cleveland Gary. Gary trying to go wide, and he has run down and put down. As Walsh tries to put it in the end zone, he has three receivers out to the right side. Dropping back, looking left now, and looking for his lone receiver on the left side. Chudzinski, touchdown Miami! Rob Chudzinski! Hey, how about that Steve Walsh? He sent three receivers wide right, looked all the way for Chudzinski, and even though covered by Pat Ray, the cornerback, Chudzinski pulls it in for the touchdown. Uh, we had three field goals against Wisconsin. Puts it through the uprights, and it is 7-0. So there's a timeout on the field with a hurricane scoring early in the football game. We'll be right back on Sports Channel Florida, 7-0 Miami. High kick with the wind behind it. Maybe a run back, maybe not. No, sir. They will down that ball back there in the end zone. We'll get back to Chudzinski in the tight end situation directly. Right now, John Stallenwerk will try to get something started. Working off the wishbone, they keep the ball on the ground and really do not get anywhere, maybe a yard. He's only lost five yards. That was Stowers and not uh, Jim White, you're correct. Big kid, 216 pounds is Stowers. Now back to pass, Stallenwerk looking left, throwing way over the head, and that was intended. They can ill afford to lose Stallenwerk for any length of time. 
Now let's see what Fitzmaurice can do. He's working out of the wishbone. One man in motion. He's going to pass. Right hand throw. Hits from behind. Fumbles. Loose football. Who's got it? It looks like the Tigers may have gotten it back. Bill Hawkins was in there. Oh, I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. Jimmy Mikowski to kick for the Tigers. Gets a good kick away into the wind, driving Spencer back. Now Spencer comes oh, to the near side, the tries to turn the corner across the 45, across the 50. Gets a block, still on his feet at the 42-yard line before he is driven out of bounds to spring him loose on a good block the second time. Walsh gives the ball to Leonard Connolly, tries the right side, trying to find running room, knocked down at the 35-yard line. Randall Hill splits wide out to the left side. Darrell Dawkins also out to the left side. And there you see Walsh checking off the line of scrimmage, replacing his men, gives this time to Cleveland Gary. Gary across the 30, inside the 25, brought down at the 22-yard line. Uh, Dawkins wide right, and Hill splits wide left. A little motion in there, and a flag is thrown. And count too soon, or maybe somebody in the line anyway. It's a penalty. Again, Hill left, Dawkins right. With Gary and Connolly, the setbacks, he throws, looking for Hill, and has Hill inside the 20. Down he goes, and they get second down and six to go at the 18-yard line. Now Walsh back to pass, looking right, throwing down the middle, and Kaczynski cannot hold on to it. The ball at the 18-yard line. Miami leading 7-0. Second out. They're checking off. The blitz is on. And the ball is loose. Missouri has it. Falling on the football is Sharon Washington. Sharon Washington. So Missouri puts the ball in play at their own 25-yard uh, line. Fitzmaurice in at quarterback. They keep the ball on the ground, try to drive it up the middle and drive it nowhere. A gain of one yard, they say. Make it second and nine. And we'll see what Fitzmaurice has in mind here. He's dropping straight back to pass. Pressure is on from the left side. Football is loose and goes out of bounds. Third and nine. Ball at the 25. Straight back is Fitzmaurice. Again, the pressure is on. He throws incomplete. And again, it on each and every play. Spencer back in single safety for the Canes. Let's the ball bounce. He'll let it go. And the football will roll dead at the Hurricane 37-yard line. How many regular season games have the Hurricanes won in a row? We'll have the answer for you right after this play. Walsh back to pass. He's pressured. Throws downfield. It is complete. He completes the pass down at the 40-yard line to Andre Brown. 35 in a row. I believe you're going to be absolutely correct. And that is the correct answer. Second longest in the NCAA since World War II. First and 10 for the Canes at the 40-yard line of Missouri. Walsh with two receivers wide right gives the ball to Connolly. He finds a hole and works it down to the 31-yard line to help open up that hole. Walsh back to pass, looking right, throwing deep. Got a man wide open. Dawkins overthrows him. Dawkins wide open. We'll see Walsh checking off fewer times up at the line of scrimmage. I say that. Now he checks off and he brings him up. Keeps it on the ground. Gary gets through the line and inside the 25-yard line to the 22. Hill wide to the left side this time as Walsh showing a passing formation. Only setback is Gary. Gives the ball to Gary. Stays on the ground. Just pure single effort as he moves down to the 12-yard line. He was down before the ball popped loose and should have been a fumble. Miami had the ball back anyway. Walsh back to pass, looking right, and throws a short one to Chudzinski at the 15-yard line, and he advances it another couple of yards. Miami leading 7-0 and threatening. 3.58 left to play here in the first quarter. Check off by Walsh at the line. He gives the football to Cleveland Gary. Gary has the first down before he is knocked backwards. Receivers split wide and left and in the wing. Into the end zone. Dawkins, touchdown Miami. They couldn't cover all of them, and Dawkins was wide open in the end zone. And the Hurricanes go on top 13 to nothing. Extra point. And his kick is perfect, so the Hurricanes of the University of Miami take a 14 to nothing lead, and we still have 322 left to play here in the first quarter. We'll be back to the Orange Bowl right after this timeout on Sports Channel Florida for the Missouri Tigers' Skip Leach. Standing back in his own end zone. Kick is in the air. Wind behind it. And 
but it is taken by one of the up man. A little collision down there up to the 15, across the 20, out to about the 22-yard line. Seven plays, 63 yards, knocking three and a half minutes, 332 really, off the clock. Stalin work. Pitches the ball to uh, number 32, Smiley Elmore. And Elmore is brought down for no gain of second and 12 for the Tigers. Back at their own 20-yard line now. They stack it to the right side. And they try to go straight up the middle again for maybe three or four yards out to close to the 25. They're at the 25, third and seven. Stalinworth thrown for a loss as he is sacked back at the 21. Hurricane coaches just smile. Jimmy Mikowski, the kick, kicking into the wind, gets it high. The wind will nine. Fumbled by Spencer. Battle for the football, and Spencer has it. Back to pass, Walsh. Going long downfield, looking for Hill. Touchdown, Miami. Adrian Jones defending, but no match for Randall Hill, the speedster from Killian High School, right here in Miami. They're going to Randall Hill the whole way. It is a fly pattern. Again, they go at Adrian Jones. He had a little nose trouble there and a great catch by Randall Thrill Hill, and that's got to be a big confidence builder. It's placed, it's kicked, and the kick is good. So with a minute 13 left to go in the first quarter, the Hurricanes of the University of Miami have pulled out in front of Missouri by a score of 21 to nothing. Scoring drive, one play, 44 yards. Walsh to Randall Thrill Hill. Venice kicks it off. Leach will let it go, and it goes out of the end zone. Miami with 184 total yards, Missouri minus three. Good gracious. Stalin work back at a quarterback for the Tigers as they start play at their own 20-yard line. Fumble. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Stalin work brings him up. He has two receivers out to the left side. And he will try to pass to his right side and almost knocked loose is it knocked loose they're calling it an incompleted pass arm was started forward russell maryland greg mark looks like russell maryland uh, got the sack there so it'll be third and ten at the 20 yard line an obvious passing situation here and here comes the canes after him he keeps the ball on the ground and gets two yards. Tommy Stowers, long count, and all ten men rush. They do not block it. They hurry it. Spencer has it at his own 36, almost falls. Still on his feet, though, as he crosses the 45 and goes out of bounds. Of Walsh at quarterback. Resets Leonard Conley at his backfield. Dawkins left, Hill right. The give is to number 20, Crowell. Shannon Crowell. So right now, the first quarter ends, and we'll take this time out with Miami leading Missouri 21-0. We'll be right back on Sports Channel Florida. Right now, Walsh brings him up to the line of scrimmage, which is the 48-yard line. It'll be second and five. The give is to Conley, maybe thrown for a loss, and is third and six. Hill splits out wide to the right side. Dawkins at a slot right side. The throw is to the right side. He hits Conley. Conley across the 35, down almost to the 30-yard line. Leonard Conley out of the backfield. First and 10 for the Canes at the 32-yard line of Missouri. Conley again carrying. And got maybe a yard on that last play from Columbus High here in Miami. Walsh, plenty of time, throws and completes. And again, it is Conley. First and 10 for the Canes. They're inside the 20-yard line, leading 21-0 early in the second quarter. Staying on the ground, and again, it is Conley. Walsh. Ball at the 17-yard line, second and nine. Looks like Walsh is checking out again. Two receivers split wide right. Conley, the lone setback. He throws for Crowell, incomplete at the 15-yard line. Trips right again for the Canes. Third and nine. Walsh long cow dropping back to pass, and his arm is hit as he turns it loose. That'll be an incomplete pass as Charles Murphy came to try a 35-yard field goal.
Kirk Sandifer will spot it down at the 25-yard line. It's down. It's in the air. And it looks good, and it is good. Walk on. Carlos Huerta kicks the field goal. And the Hurricanes of Miami go on in front by a score of 24 to nothing. Skip Leach back in single safety for Missouri as Bennis is ready to kick off for the Hurricanes. And here we go again. Canes leading 24-0. Leach takes the ball at his own two. Out to the 15. Fights his way to the 20. Still on his feet and knocked down at the 22-yard line. Ball at the 23-yard uh, line. First and 10 for the Tigers. One man in motion. Start and work hands off as they try the right side of the Miami line. They split Ronnie Cameron out wide to the left side. Out of the wishbone backfield. Stollenberg up. There's movement there, but I don't see a flag. Stollenberg now pitches the ball straight ahead. And is picked uh, out of the air over the place. Backfield in motion. They went third and ten. The football at the 23-yard line of Missouri. Stollenberg. Receiver wide left. He still has the football, keeping to the fifth, to the 25, across the 30, but not enough for a first down. Getting back at his own 17, gets a good snap, and with the wind behind him, a high spiraling kick. Taken at the 25-yard line by Spencer, goes wide left, across the 40, 45, across midfield, into the 45, into the 40, still on his feet inside the 35, and brought down at the 33-yard line of Missouri. Gaines put the ball in play at the Tiger 33. This time it is Crowell. Shannon Crowell near side on his feet at the 20 brought down at the 18-yard line. Well, first and 10 for the Canes. Inside the Missouri 20 at the 18-yard line. Leading 24-0. Walsh throwing near side has Crowell. Crowell at the 10 still on his feet inside the 5 before he is put down by number 55 for having Missouri Tiger for dinner tonight. This time it is Cleveland Gary, and he fights his way into the end zone, standing up. Cleveland Gary found a hole on the right side of the Missouri line and went right into the end zone, standing up. And it is good. So the Kings now lead 31-0. We still have 9 minutes and 14 seconds left to play here in the first half. We'll be right back here on Sports Channel 1. Stay tuned. Skip Leach, long safety and a short kick, high and very short. They'll let it bounce and they down it at the 27-yard line. Up there, calling in the defensive signal. Sullenberg gives off as they keep the ball on the ground to the right side. Back to pass this time. Stoltenberg throwing down the middle, looking and uh, complete. He completes to number 89, Tim Bruton. Wow. First and 10 for Missouri. That's their first big play of the football game. Now carrying the football, number 27. That will be Sean Moore again. That's Craig the Erickson, the young man from West Palm Beach who didn't play too well last week. Going to get another chance. Mixed up in signals for Missouri, and that time... They're lucky to hang out of the football. Time Fitzmaurice says, you take it, and he said, I don't want it, babe. It'll be third and nine at the Miami 49-yard line. Canes leading 31-0. Long count by Fitzmaurice. He is back to pass. Loses the football, and Missouri retains possession. A punt, 38.3 average. Short punt this time, not a good punt at all. And they'll let it roll. And it takes a nice Missouri roll and bounces out of bounds at the Miami 13-yard line. Craig Erickson is in a quarterback for the University of Miami as they put the ball in play at their own 13-yard line. Erickson gives off to Shannon Crowell. A fumble battle for the football. The Missouri's got it. They're going to have great position, and the Tigers got it. Brad Fitzmaurice. In a quarterback for the Missouri Tigers. Knock 
knocking on the door. He still has it. Looking to pass. Throws and throws into a crowd incomplete. Four down linemen for the Hurricanes. On a draw play, it is Stowers, and Stowers gets only a yard to the 10. Elmore, the only setback, quick pass incomplete. All right, Missouri will go for the touchdown on fourth and nine, and certainly not the field goal. And Fitzmaurice back to pass. Looking to the end zone, and it is incomplete. And the game, it's uh, last year against Toledo, the ninth game of the season. Craig Erickson at quarterback. For the Canes, he has Cleveland Gary, one of his setbacks. Gives to the second man, Drew, and uh, stopped at the 10-yard line. Once he finds that hole, he can disappear in a hurry. Out of the eye formation, back to pass, throwing Erickson complete to the right side to Kelleher. And Kelleher, first and 10 for the Canes. Back again to pass. Erickson looking left side, and this time it is complete. Out on the left side to Pee Wee Smith as it is second and 10 for the Canes at their own 23-yard line. Erickson gives this time to Cleveland Gary. Gary to the 30, after the 35, stumbles and is knocked down at the 40. Cleveland Gary trips the pieces of steel and springs and bolts in these hips of mine. But it was a tremendous hole. Fumble by Erickson, gets it back, catches it back up on the bounce, throws and completes the pass out to the 47-yard line where it'll be second down and four yards to go for the Canes. Canes lead 31-0 with 3.08 left to go in the first half. Keeping the ball on the ground, Conley driving for yardage. Gets it inside the 45-yard line. He brings him up to the line. Two men split right. He's looking left. Going deep left, man wide open. Adrian Brown, that should be a touchdown, and Brown waltzes into the end zone. And again... We talked before the game about the defense. Pat Ray was the defensive man there. But, uh, in to kick the extra point and uh, kick it, he does. So it is now, as you said, 38 to nothing. Miami leading Missouri and a complete blowout here in the first half at the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. We still have 2.33 left to play here in the first half. We'll be right back. Skip Leach, lone safety man for the Tigers. And instead taken by one of the up man at the 10, to the 15, to the 20. On his feet out to the 24-yard line. 90 yards in nine plays, two, uh, two minutes and 26 seconds possession. Erickson, 45-yard pass for Andre Brown for the touchdown. Now the Miami defense. Second and 11 for the Tigers. That's Murray's little shovel pass forward to uh, Riley Elmore. And Elmore, Maurice Crum was not to be moved as the uh, ball carrier bounced right off of him. He made the tackle. That's Morris keeping the ball himself, and he is smeared at the 25. Olski back to putt again for the University of Missouri. Spiraling kick, not too high, does not get much advantage from the wind. 45-yard line, reversing his field back the other way. Darrell Spencer trying to find running room, still on his feet, and finally brought down at the Missouri 44-yard Royal Aaron splitting out to the right side, and he overthrows both Aaron. When he's pumped up full of adrenaline, that ball tends to rise on him. Second and 10. Erickson back to pass again, throwing left. And is it caught or not caught? If it's caught, it's a first down. Kicking into the wind, a 48-yard attempt. Sandiful will spot it down. Biggs gets it back. The kick is in the air, and it is no good. No good. Just a little too much, and without the wind, maybe. But with the wind, no. That'll end the first half, but don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. That is just the half of it. Canes lead it 38 to nothing over the Missouri Tigers, and we'll be right back here on Sports Channel Florida. Here we go in the second half. My kick for the wind behind it. They've got the goal line. We'll bring it up. Five for the 10. To the 15, and 
That's Morris in at uh, quarterback. Gives the ball off as they try the left side and no gain at all. Second down and eight for the Tigers. The ball at their own 22 yard line. That's Morris working out of the wishbone. Takes the snap from center Curtis Wilkins. Again, they keep the ball on the ground. This time it is Tommy Stowers carrying Stowers seven carries for 20 yards. Third down and about a yard to go for the Tigers. Big play right here for them. They're going to try to start something going here, and he does not get his first down. Yes, he does get his first down. He brings it out across the 35. Well, they stay in the wishbone offensive formation. And this time it is carried straight up the middle by Tommy Stowers. And lost only five. Boy, that is quite a record right there. It's Morris throwing down the middle, and it is complete to number 89. Third down and eight yards to go for the Tigers. The ball at the Missouri 37-yard line. It's Morris rolling out to his right, being chased, now throws, and incomplete. Greg Mark, Joe Hawkins. So there's the kick. Darrell Spencer settling under it. Takes it just shy of the 25 and is spun down at the 26 yard line. And Walsh back to pass on first down. Sends one out to Darrell Hill. Catches it at the 35, retreats inside the 35. And Second and two. Walsh now 12 out of 17 for 196 yards. And the line moves on both sides as Sullivan was one of those moving. And Sullivan did move as again stopped. Stiff breeze blowing out of the east from the open end of this stadium. Walsh back to pass again. Throws one over the middle. Complete to Cleveland Gary. Gary at the 40. And goes across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Let's wide out to the right side. At the top of your screen. And the ball carrier, Leonard Conley. Conley on the ground out to the 44-yard line. First half, offensively, special team, on defense. Trips right this time for the gain. Walsh back. Conley stays back to protect him. Throws it down the middle. No good. Almost intercepted. He was locked in. The radar was in. I think the Missouri defenders saw that as well. Now out of the shotgun for the first time this year. Walsh throws and completes the hill. Hill in Missouri territory brought down at the 49-yard line. And what about that block thrown out in front of him by Cleveland Gary, but he did not take advantage of it. Now the handoff to Gary. Gary gets to the 45, and that's about it. He may give him uh, the 44-yard line. Dawkins splits out wide to the left side. And Walsh hands off to Conley. Conley spins his way to the 35-yard line. Leonard Conley. A.J. Miller hanging out. It's a turnover. Conley laid it on the ground. And referee says, first down, Missouri. We've got a new quarterback in there uh, for the Missouri Tigers. And the results are just the same as Charles Quint. Welch from Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte High School. Fumble, drop the ball, bottle for it. In there uh, fighting for the Canes and coming out of the pack with it is number 63, Jimmy Jones. Missouri's uh, first turnover, Miami leading 38-0, and Walsh is back to pass. Pump Watts throwing deep downfield for Dawkins. He's got him. Touchdown, Canes. And no penalty markers are down. Adrian Jones beaten again defensively. Huerta for the extra point, and the flag is down as the kick is up and good even after the fumble. Vandiver having trouble taking the snap back from Sutter. But a penalty marker is down. Missouri was offside, and the kick is good. So again, there's a timeout with Miami leading Missouri by a score of 45 to nothing. Good foot in the ball, wind behind it, and that'll be down. No, oh, he's going to try to run it out. Leach is going to try to run it out, gets it out to the 12, 13 yard line, and is hit hard on October 24th, 1987, against Cincinnati. And yes, Miami did win that football game 48 to 10. 
nothing there for the Tigers. Nobody on the Missouri side of the field is smiling at the moment. And Walsh, the quarterback, is smeared. Corey Walsh knocked down Missouri 26. Third and 11 for Missouri. Welch still has it. Cuts up field. Shy of the 20 yard line. Get defensive left end position. And let's move Greg Clark outside and put Willis McGee down on the bench. He is not too happy. Mikowski's kick taken at the 42 yard line and driven back still on his feet and finally knocked down inside the 30 yard line. Jump by Tommy Rose, linesman Dick Taylor. Field judge is Dan Bloom. One holder came up injured a couple of weeks ago. Erickson giving to Connolly. Connolly finds a bit of a hole. Is that the rule of 50? And a flag goes down. Battle first and 20. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Canes leading 45 0 here in the third quarter. They keep the ball on the ground. That is Connolly to the 39. Second and 17 for the University of Miami. Erickson back to pass, throwing down the middle, almost intercepted. That should have been intercepted. It'll be third and 17. Two receivers out to the right side, Hill to the left side. Walsh now on the quarterback. Well, he's going to keep it himself. Starts a quarter, or rather, Erickson. Keeping the ball himself. Missouri so confused a moment ago, they had to take a timeout because of 12 men on the field. Nice punt, win behind it. They signal a fair catch as... Uh, so again, Missouri, even taking a timeout, they still came back out with 12 men on the football field. You'll see it only on Sports Channel Florida. We'll tell you more about it as we go along. Erickson gives up the medal to Connolly. Connolly to the 30-yard line. Erickson at quarterback. Gives again to... Johnson. They keep the ball on the ground and he goes inside the 20 to the 19 yard line. Hill split out to the left side. Out of the eye formation. And the pitch out again to Johnson. Crowell leading the interference for him and Johnson moves the ball to about the 18 yard line. Andre Brown splits out to the left side. Erickson, a lot of time. Throws. Touchdown, Andre Brown. Pat Ray beaten that time. The right cornerback, 51-0 with Weta trying to make it 52. And he does make it 52. So the Hurricanes in a complete rout of the Tigers from Missouri. Now lead by a score of 52-0. And we still have a little better than one minute left to play in the third quarter. They're going to come out fire and brimstone when the Hurricanes invade South Bend. Venice kicks it off. And that is Leach who lets it bounce through the end zone. But the Tigers are not. Welch, the quarterback. And I say it's just about the time they get that ball handed off to Hurricane for the head coach. That is Welch keeping on the option. Looks for somebody to shovel it off to. Found nobody on the left side of the Miami line. Now Welch keeps it again, finds a bit of a hole, now flips outside, and down the near sideline. Number 27 carrying the football is Sean Moore. Driven out of bounds. So first and ten for the Tigers. And that time. So with the Hurricanes leading by a score of 52 to nothing, there's a timeout as the third quarter comes to an end, and we'll be back for the fourth period right after this on Sports Channel Florida. Take on the Philadelphia Flyers. Now we're back to the first play of the fourth quarter, and Welch dragged down from behind his trade from Edmonton to Los Angeles. Second play of the fourth quarter, Welch on the keeper again, spins away from one tackler, still has the football, and being chased and finally tripped up. He shook that one tackle by Eric Miller, but Matt Britton ran him down and two straightened him. So it'll be fourth and three for the 
University of Missouri out of the shotgun, and Welsh is dragged down for a loss, and that time it's Jimmy Jones. Craig Erickson passing left side incomplete, incomplete. Um, it's going to be one of those trades that may work out very well for both sides. This time, they pitch out to Johnson and Alex out to near the 35-yard line. Third and five for the Canes. Erickson, short drop, throwing left. Pee Wee Smith, and he has the first down. Dawkins wide out to the right side. They keep the ball on the ground, and this time it is Shannon Crowell carrying the midfield. They keep the ball on the ground, and there's some yardage gained by Shannon Crowell going straight up the middle. It's going to come in handy. Second and three for the Canes. Leading 52-0 over the Tigers of Mizzou. Johnson carrying to the left side, and it looks like he might have the first down. Canes leading 52-0, 10-42 left to play in the football game. Dawkins, or rather... Uh, Pee Wee Smith wide out to the right side. They keep the ball on the ground. That is Alex Johnson carrying to the 30-yard line. Erickson dropping straight back. Good protection. Throws incomplete. Intended for Johnson. Almost intercepted, but trapped over there. Looks like they want to run the football, and they do try to run it. And up over the top goes so Shannon Crowell, and I don't know whether he made it or not. 27-yard attempt for Carlos Huerta. He's hit from the 34, missed from the 47. This time the kick is up, and it is good! Kicking into the wind, Carlos Huerta puts it through the upright. 55-0 by any lead. 9-10 left to go in the football game. We'll be back. But anyway, Ben is ready to kick off, and here we go again. Kicking into the wind. And a little, almost a little mix-up there. Skip Leach takes the kickoff, tries to find running room to the right, and is brought down at the 28-yard line. Oklahoma 52 and 10, Auburn 50 and 12, and Brigham Young 54 and 14. How about that? And later on this year, on no, December 3rd, they've got people playing out there now that I'm not sure about. Roland Smith is one of the defensive backs on the near side. Hurley Brown on a defensive back position. Welch uh, carrying the football for Missouri, tucks it in, goes across the 35, and is knocked down at about the 37-yard line. The quarterback is loose in the open field. He's fair game. He takes some punishment. Gives up this time as they keep the ball on the ground. Offensive guard. And Welch still has it, swinging out wide to the right. Gets into Miami territory, does not get into Miami territory. He's brought down just short of the first down, I believe. Missouri trying to avert the shutout, working out of the wishbone. And the ball carrier is Charles Quint. Ron Pointer splits wide out to the right side for Missouri. Well, back to pass on the option, now throws it, and it is complete to number 29, Charles Quint. Corey Welch, as I mentioned, just a freshman from Kansas City's Wyandotte High School in Kansas City, Kansas, I might add. And now the pitch out, delayed pitch out, and not, not fooled at all on the game. Not fooled at all on that one. Second and 15 for the Missouri Tigers. The ball at their own 48-yard line, tossed right over the middle, incomplete. That was intended for Tim Bruton. Corey Welch. Back to pass, being chased by Jimmy Jones, gets away, throws, and it is complete. It is complete to Bruton. Tim Bruton. First and ten, the ball at the 31 of the Hurricanes. Canes are leading. Missouri has not scored. They stay on the ground, and I, they're not going to get much. Welch, back, looking, being chased. And being stopped back at the 42-yard line. Eric Miller. So now we have another quarterback, Brad uh, Fitzmaurice, back in. Brad Fitzmaurice at quarterback for Missouri. Number 17. Dropping straight back. Being hassled and dropped. And again, Jimmy Jones is in. 
Gets it at his own 40. Kicks the ball high. Fair catch call for by Spencer at the 15. And they'll put the ball in play at their own 15-yard line. Erickson, the quarterback. Illegal procedure. 62-0, huh? And knocked down at about the 13-yard line, number 31, Fred Highsmith. How to play all that time. Doyle Aaron in as a wide receiver. And carrying straight up the middle, that is Highsmith again. And he is swarmed under at the 15-yard line. Mike Pigsa in at a tight end. Darrell Spencer is a wide receiver to the right side. There's Spencer, the kick returner, in there as a wide receiver. As Eric uh, looks over the defense, calls his signals, checks something off there at the line, and draws a flag. Nope, the illegal procedure again. Darrell Spencer splits wide out to the right side. Keeps the ball on the ground, carrying straight up the middle out to the 15. Jim Corral, as the crowd counts it down, he will not get the kick away. The ball game is over. As Jimmy Johnson heads to the locker room with his uh, still undefeated Miami Hurricanes, we'll be back to talk about this, the Hurricanes' 36 consecutive regular season win. Final score, Miami 55, the University of Missouri nothing. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.